Hey everybody, welcome back to VGC Series 11, where today, I'm off today, I don't have to go to work after this, it's great, and at the request of, oh god, I didn't, I didn't look up the name, hold on, hold on, it's a really funny name, I need to say it, give me a second, I'm gonna get it, hold on, hold for, pause for dramatic effect, pause for dramatic effect, what's your name, what's your name, it is, ah yes, yes, we're at the request of Chunky Runky, we are using Alolan Marowak. Now, full disclosure, Alolan Marowak almost ended up on the team they commented on, the Hail team. I was running it to test it out. I thought it paired really good with uh, Yveltal because it covers the lightning weakness and it covers weakness to Calyrex Ice. Um, it's really good for that. <coughs> but I took it off the team for Celesteela just at the last minute because uh, the Celesteela just felt a little bit better with, paired up with the Hail Setter and the Arctivish. I don't know, maybe if I make a full version of that team, Alolan Marowak will end up on it. It's really good for fighting Aleki. Anyway, oh gosh, I was feeling so good when I started recording and now I have gas. I keep burping. <laughs> I'm sorry. TMI, too much information. Anyway, they asked for specifically a Lola Marowak on a Sun Trick Room team. And, well, full disclosure, um, I did not make a Sun Trick Room team. And that's because I was thinking about it and I was like, you know, a Lola Marowak really doesn't go on this team. Like, it already has a slow fire Pokemon if you're running Torkoal, or like, or, you know, like, it just, it just doesn't fit. It, you don't need, you don't have a lightning weakness you need to cover. You don't have, um, you don't really, you already have fire Pokemon to deal with Calyrex. Like, for me, the, the position that Alola Marowak fits in the format is it counters Aleki, it counters Calyrex Ice, and it can counter Zacian, and really Sunroom doesn't need any of that. Does that make sense? So, I made it a low Marowak team. I'm really sorry it's not a Sunroom team, uh, Chunky Runky. <laughs> but, it's, I think it's a cool team. So I made this Evolto team. Um, we're running just like, super just bulk Evolto. We're not running much special attack. We're not running any special attack investment, actually. Um, yeah. We are not running any special attack investment. And we're just running Assault Vis Veltal. It's just here, it's just a linchpin. It's here to snarl things. It's here to use foul play. It's here to just not die. <clears throat> but we're running the Alolan Marowak to support it. Um, these two Pokemon, I feel like they pair really well together because Alolan Marowak um, covers ice and electric type weaknesses that Yveltal has. Um, it also covers the fairy type weaknesses, not weak to fairy. And Yveltal covers Alolan Marowak's ghost and ground type weaknesses really well. They're both weak to rock, but. Most rock, all the rock coverage in the format is just, is just rock coverage moves. There's not really any rock stab getting flown around. So mostly you just gotta look out for like rock slide from Landorus. Uh, remember the Whimsicott? I think if there was one Pokemon I was gonna change to like make this team a little bit better, I think I would change this Whimsicott for just like a really reliable Trick Room setter. <clears throat> the Tailwind Trick Room is not working. The Fake Tears is really nice though, so it's, I'm kind of torn. So I'm running this, this Whimsicott with uh, Focus Sash. Just max speed, max special attack, Moonblast, Tailwind, Trick Room, and Fake Tears. The Fake Tears is really nice because we're not running special attack investment on our Yveltal, so it makes it really easier to like get KOs on things. I'm running Blastoise G-Max because I thought it fit on this team. Uh, Marowak covers its electric type weakness. It's the only Pokemon on our team that's weak to grass. Um, and it just it just matches into Zacian really well. And um, I don't know why, just every time I run Yveltal, it feels really weak to Zacian just because Behemoth Blade does so much damage. It's kind of like an even split between a support Blastoise and a um, attacking Blastoise. I'm running just enough speed to outspeed Calyrex under Tailwind. <laughs> I forgot that I did that. Um, max special attack, fake out Yawn, Hydro Pump, Icy Wind. It's been pretty solid. Rillaboom G Max helps with Kyogre. I will, for some reason, we just it's really hard to beat Rain teams. We have a really good Sun matchup. Our Rain matchup is not great. So I'm running Rillaboom G Max. Uh, Miracle Seed, same set I've been using on everything else. And then Incineroar, um, the Fake Out Intimidate Snarl Parting Shot support is just so good with this team because everything is like really bulky and just, um, you can just, it helps the positioning so much to have such a reliable Pokemon that you can switch into. I know people don't like Incineroar because it's, it's super good and it is, and that's why we're running it. We kind of need that, the like really like, really solid linchpin to like hold this team together. That's the team, guys. Um, as always, if you like this video, please, 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 leave me a like, uh, leave me a comment, tell me what Pokemon you want to see in VGC Series 11. This is the second video in a row where we're doing a fan request. Um, 
And you know, like if you leave something in the comments, I'll probably do it. <laughs> I don't have a whole lot of ideas for this format. Um, it really feels like a comfort format to me, so I'm not like motivated to try and like find the next big thing because I feel like I already have my teams that I'm comfortable playing. And if I'm gonna play in anything seriously, that I have the teams that I'm comfortable with. Does that, does that make sense? So leave me stuff in the comments. Give me give me some inspiration. Um, go check out my Twitch. I'm gonna stream today, uh, probably around like 2:33 uh, Eastern Standard Time. <coughs> check me out. I'll be there. Uh, anyway, let's jump into some battles. Let's see what we can do. Like this team, this team's pretty good. It doesn't feel quite like it's there yet. I mean, it's like missing something. Um, but I'm gonna show it off because I don't know if I'm gonna like finish it. I want you guys to be able to see it before it like falls into I never use it again okay so Jinx is really annoying <coughs> Jinx is really really annoying um how do we deal with it I'm kind of tempted to just go Blastoise Rilla um that feels like a solid lead and then I want to bring Marowak for the Regieleki kind of but I don't know Let's do it. Let's go Marowak Evolto in the back. Let's see how that goes. It's It feels weird bringing Marowak to these Kyogre matchups, but they always have Regilecki, and if we can get rid of Kyogre, really nothing else on their team can deal with Alolan Marowak. Except for maybe Cinderace if they're running Max Darkness, but or Sucker Punch, rather. Whew. The weather's changing here, and my lungs really don't appreciate it. So if I ever sound out of breath in any videos until the weather changes back to hot and humid, um, I apologize. I am a little out of breath because it's uh, my breathing is not very good right now. Um, hmm. I think I think I just want to cannonade in this Talonflame. My computer is struggling. Come on, computer, we got this. I'm gonna do that, and then. Um, I kind of need to switch out because they might just Brave Bird. No switches. They don't bring the Jinx in, which is good. Oh, <laughs> <clears throat> get wrecked. No Tailwind for you. As long as I don't have Jinx, like this Blastoise should pretty much be uncontested. <clears throat> Okay, they have Cinderace. That's fine. I'm gonna just go for Cannonade into Cinderace. I really have no reason not to. And let me go ahead and... Uh, let me switch into Marowak in case they decide to Thunderbolt again. Darkness. Ooh, they have the Darkness. Okay. Yes! Yes, yes, yes! Okay. All right. Now what do we do? Um, hmm. Do I take another one of those? I do. <coughs> hmm. I think I'm just going to double protect up this turn. No, because then they have to have a turn of Dynamax after me, right? Um, Let me go Max Strike and protect the Marowak. Oh, uh, let me go Max Strike into you and protect the Marowak. They Darkness into Marowak now. Another special defense drop. We might go down to Water Spell. Blastoise? No. Okay. Well, we tried. <clears throat> um, You know, honestly, though, we should be able to KO the Cinderace with Grassy Glide. Which is a good position to be in. Uh, I'm going to just switch out. They're definitely in Grassy Glide range. Um, and then hopefully we don't get KO'd by Water Spout. That would suck. Ooh, they switch. Oh, no. That sucks really bad. <coughs> that sucks really, really bad. All right, well, I'm going to Shadow Bone the Lele. Go for... I think I'll just Snarl. Yeah, I'm just going to Snarl. I shouldn't take too much damage from Tapu Lele. I don't know if we can win now. Ah, oh, that, that turn. I didn't know they had the Lele in the back. That's really bad for us. 
<coughs> Bounce is a move. Wow, that's so much damage. Why did that do so much? Um, hmm. I don't think I can win. I don't think I can win. God, that Moonblast is so much. Tapu Lele doesn't hit that. I'm a Salt Vest. Like, max HP. Jeez Louise. I mean, I definitely lose, right? What am I going to do? Oh, they missed. Maybe if we're faster? <gasps> oh, we do no damage. We do no damage. All right, well, I lose. Yeah, this Kyogre matchup is really hard. They always have... They, 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 they run a lot of answers for Rillaboom, and that's really our only answer for them. Um, I wish... I wish... <laughs> I wish Cannonade was the only one that hit its own type for, for damage. That would make it so much better. Okay, this... This is a Marowak game, guys. This is big Marowak gaming time. Um, okay, let me think. I kind of want to just lead the Marowak. It's, <clears throat> it's pretty safe, except Porygon Z has Dark Pulse, right? <clears throat> hmm. Okay, let's go Marowak. Hmm. Let's do Marowak Incin. Veltau. I'm thinking Rillaboom. Hmm, I'm gonna go Blastoise. Yeah, there's the Porygon Z. <clears throat> I really, really hate to see that. Um, okay, let me just try to protect. Let me go for a Snarl. Uh, I don't have a great way to get rid of this Porygon Z. It's kind of the perfect Pokemon for them to lead here. And I could switch into Yveltal, but like, then we're giving them Dark Aura. <laughs> you know? Uh, man, do I really want to have my Marowak take so much damage though? Let's try to switch. Let's try to switch. Who knows, maybe they just max strike Incineroar, that would really suck, but it could happen. Hmm. This is such a good lead, wow. Porygon Z is still killing it, <clears throat> honestly. Ooh, what if it's weakness policy? No max, oh no. Do they just trick room? It looks like they just trick room. It is weakness policy. Oh no, that's so bad. Oh, but they didn't. They didn't trick room. Okay, I'm gonna try to foul play. Um, and I'll switch into Marowak for 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 safety. <clears throat> foul play should KO this Calyrex, even if it maxes. I think <sighs> this is scary. This is, I didn't think I was going to be this scared of a Porygon Z today. But, you know, this this kind of covers, like, if they Trick Room here, then I have Marowak in and I can just do stuff. And if they don't Trick Room and they don't protect their Calyrex, then we just KO it. Oh, they do Max. They Max Guard, okay. Okay, yeah, that's fine. I'm slower than Calyrex. Yes, no matter what, I am slower than this Calyrex. I'm going to go ahead and Snarl. Go for Max Flare. It might KO, it might not KO. <clears throat> we kind of just needed to KO. Which is pretty scary, I gotta say. Okay, and Didi comes in. They can't protect this turn. Maybe this KOs. <sighs> okay. Alright, well. We did a thing. <laughs> We traded, we traded Marowak for the Calyrex, and you know, I think that's a trade I'm okay with. <coughs> God damn. That was a turn. Alright, Porygon Z comes back in. Yeah, that's fine. That's fair. <coughs> I'm gonna go ahead and Snarl. Uh, I'm just gonna double Snarl. I got really no reason to do anything else. They can't, this Indeedy is not threatening us at all. We still don't know what their last Pokemon is. Oh, I missed the Snarl. Oh, no. Oh, they're running Dazzling Gleam. That's interesting. And they're running T-Bolt. I wish I hadn't missed the Snarl. 
<clears throat> they are slower than us, which is good to know. Um, do I take a T bolt? I'll probably. Oh, okay. Well, GG's then. <laughs> nice. <sighs> My lungs are screaming. Please, body. Why do you? Why are you like this? <clears throat> I was so hyper, but now I'm trying so hard not to like over over exert myself so I don't cough so much. You know? Alright, this could be good actually. Wait. I'm gonna go. Hmm. I'm gonna go Blastoise Whimsicott here. And do I wanna bring Mar Marowak looks kinda kinda good here if we can get rid of the I mean here's the thing, this whole team gets walled by Feeny unless I bring Rillaboom. So I have to bring Rillaboom, kinda? Hmm. Hmm. Alright, let's bring Rillaboom. <clears throat> hmm. We're not bringing a belt to this game. <clears throat> All we have is a hope and a prayer here. I'm gonna try this. Let's see if it works. This would be a big KO if we can just get it right here. They do fake out. That's fine. Substitute is a move, isn't it? Alright, I'm gonna Tailwind then. <clears throat> it's fast. They're running a lot of speed. <clears throat> yeah, they have to run a lot of speed to hit 112. They'd be faster than 112. Well, actually, let's just do this. This is probably smarter. Because if they sub again, we'll just break it. <clears throat> That's a lot of damage. That's fine. Okay, we get the KO on the instant. That's actually really good. Um, let me think about this. Yeah, let me go ahead and just try to do this. Let's see if they like max guard or something, but they might not. Oh, actually, aren't they slower now? I don't know how much speed they're running. There's no reason to risk it. Ah, yeah, they do have their protect. That they have no H. They have one HP. Um, I think we're gonna be fine, guys. Uh, protect. Uh, let me just icy wind, I guess, for flavor. Okay, we lose our blast toys. That's actually kind of bad. But uh, now this Obama Snow is locked in with no special attack. What's their last Mon, though? I hope it's not Tapu Fini. Oh, I have Rillaboom. Actually, it's fine if it's Tapu Fini. Let's see. Show them to me. Oh, it is Tapu Fini. All right. All the marbles. Here we go. Oh, I can't even... Oh, wait. Wait a minute. All right, well, I have to just do that anyway, but not having grassy terrain here is kind of bad. Oh, they still have their whole ass Dynamax? Oh, no. That's so bad. Um, what do I do? That's a three hit KO? Bro, what are you feeding this Tapu Fini? <coughs> I also don't think I can KO this Obama Snow. They just KO me. The double up. That sucks so... A uh, critical hit! And they land Blizzard... Ugh, come on. That sucks pretty bad. That makes me feel kind of sad. 
Oh, uh, yeah, this Tapu Fini is so good against this team. My own Tailwind kind of screwed me over there. Like, really bad. Okay, well... Marowak looks pretty decent into this, as long as we can get rid of the Landorus. I'm gonna do this to tempt them. I'll just do this. Man, since I stopped working at the theme park, my, my I don't use my, my loud voice as much, so it's like... It's like on its last legs. I need to... Like, do vocal warm-ups or something. Jeez, jeez, Louise. <clears throat> How's everybody doing today? I have a day off, which is nice. Um, I wish I had more days off. I wish I could just, like, stream every day. Interesting. Hmm. Huh. Alright, well, I mean, this feels pretty solid. <coughs> hmm. Oh, they just maxed the Porygon. That's kind of weird. That's a weird play. I don't like that play. Um, hmm. Huh. Why? But why would you do that? I am I'm at a loss here. I don't know why they did that. That feels like such a weird play. Um, hmm. What do I do? Let's just do this. Okay. Well. <clears throat> That Max Phantasm still did so much damage th through two Snarls. That's two Snarls. Oh, no. Okay, well, that's fine. We can just do this. <clears throat> I'm gonna have to hope they go for Wicked Blow here, though. Because if they attack you, Veltal, I think we just lose it. <clears throat> this Porygon, man, is putting up a fight. Ooh, that's a good play. Oh, that's a really good play. Oh, I don't like that. Alright, well. <clears throat> I need to switch Marowak out. Let's go for Incin. Don't close combat. Don't close combat. Heck yeah. Heck yeah! Mm. Suck it. Alright, now I don't want them to close combat my... The Yveltal here. Let me just... Yeah. Yeah, let's just do this. This feels pretty safe. <laughs> Calyrex comes in. Okay. That's fine. We made a great switch. I think. I'm gonna go ahead and just, uh, hmm. I'm gonna do this. <clears throat> if they don't switch Urshifu out, they lose it. Unless they protect. Nope. Great. Oh, yeah, yeah. We, we positioned the hell out of that game. This is, this is very much a very heavy positioning team. Um, as you can see, like, you have to, you have to... If you, as long as you can get the position right, you'll never lose. It's it's really that kind of team. Oh, the Gastrodon. The Gastrodon's scary. Sableye is really scary in this format. <coughs> I lost to a trick eject button Sableye earlier. Because um, I just wasn't expecting it. To... I wasn't expecting it to trick eject button into the Pokemon that it did. And they called my Dynamax correctly. It was really rough for me. Um, hmm. I'm feeling this. Let's see. Thundee's Asian. They wanted to make sure that we couldn't uh, intimidate them. I'm going to do this. 
they don't switch into gastro i mean even if they switch into gastro we'll be fine because like at least we have um yeah okay all right i think we made the right play subs ac and all right that's fine whatever airstream is fine um there's not really a speed advantage that you need here it's assault vest oof i'm gonna go ahead and try to boomerang my way into this uh, zacian's heart here go for the cannonade that's a lot of damage max darkness oh oh we live hey this might be a really good turn cannonade now we have cannonade damage boomerang break the substitute break zacian's heart <clears throat> that's just enough damage that's so good all right now instant comes in that's fine um i think i'm gonna go ahead and just switch into Veltal here if they max darkness then that's fine and i'm gonna cannonade the incineroar let's see what happens Ooh, they knuckle that's a good move we take it though so who cares goodbye I don't think we needed a critical hit, but, like, honestly, who knows? That looks like Sucker Punch range to me. So I'm gonna go for it. Um, and I'll switch into Rillaboom on this side. Goodbye. That's so good. That's so good. Okay, Snarl, Grassy Glide. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I think we can get one more game in here. Let's do it. One more, one more, one more game. One more game. Say it with me in the comments. One more game. One more game. <coughs> Chunky Runky, if you're out there. What is Chunky Runky? Was it Chungus Rungus? I think it was Chunky Runky. If you're out there, I hope you enjoyed this uh, this video. Uh, I know I didn't use it on a Sunroom team, but like I said, I really don't think it fits on a Sunroom team. I think this is what it's meant for. Huh. This is a weird team. Maybe it's, uh... Soak Inteleon? I could see that. Soak Inteleon, like the Max Phantasming thing. Okay, yeah, I could see that. What do we do about it? Hmm. <clears throat> I kind of feel like I'm going to need Trick Room here, to be honest with you. Let's do... This. Hmm. Let's do this. Let's bring Marowak. Let's bring this. Okay, interesting. Alright, yeah, I'm going to go for Trick Room and hopefully we can get it. Um, hmm. I kind of want to just use my max right now. Oh, they do not. Oh, they went for Yawn. Okay, that's fine. I don't care. I'm going to double the Umbreon here. Maybe we can KO it. Zacian comes in. I feel like this is a weird position to bring Zacian in. We do not quite KO the Umbreon. I'm gonna go for another Moonblast. I think we can KO. And then... I mean, I might as well just leave it in. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Was it a crit? Oh no, we just got the KO with the hail. That's great. Alright, let's get Marowak in. Marowak is the boy. Here comes the boy. <clears throat> mm. I feel like our positioning is really off here. Like, it's good that we got the Trick Room up, but are we going to really be in a position to do a whole lot with it? You know what I mean? The Zacian can protect this turn. Um, <clears throat> I don't want to lose my Marowak. So let me just do this. And I max it. Hmm. Uh, what a predicament to be in, huh? I'm gonna go Shadow Bone here because I think that might switch. I'll switch. Yeah. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> we trade 
Marowak for the Dragapult, which is decent, but not great. Okay. I need... Blastoise. Blastoise, my friend. I need you to wake up. I need you to wake up. I don't remember how many turns you were... Yes. Okay. All right. <clears throat> we can win this now. Um, those special defense drops actually really hurt, though. Gotta say. Um... Alright, well, let's just try this. That's fine. Alright, I think we're fine. I think we win now. We should be faster, yeah. Very nice. High fives all around. <clears throat> Alright, everybody, well, that's the video. I hope you really enjoyed this team. I think it's pretty good. Like I said, um, the Whimsicott feels kind of weird. It did put in some work this video. I haven't used it in a little while because I just haven't felt the need to bring it. But it put in some work in this video. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I feel like I would rather just have a really reliable Trick Room setter maybe. Um, yeah. Um, but anyway, like, like I said at the beginning, if you like this video, please leave me a like. Leave me a comment. Tell me what Pokemon you would like to see in VGC Series 11. Um, and go follow me on Twitch, link in the description. Um, you know, try to get up to 50, 50 followers on Twitch so I can maybe make a little bit of side money, maybe help me justify myself financially recording videos every day, because, oh man, I have to work so much, you know? It'd be nice if I could just work a little bit less. Anyway, my name's Andrew. I'll catch you guys next time.